Hey everybody, it's Deanna, again. I don't think I've ever made two videos in the same day. Maybe I have. Anyway, I'm here to do the 15 things that you might not know about me video that Marie Bradford, I think uh, Belinda, Alicia, Rob, and a lot of other people have done. So I figured I would do it. Before I start, I wanted to show you guys something that I made yesterday. It is like the cutest thing ever. I thought it was an earring pattern, but look at this. Is this not the cutest little Christmas tree? You can use it as an ornament, I guess. But it's um, it's made out of five different layers of bugle beads and seed beads, and then I put little gold beads like a garland around it. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was so cute. Okay. So, I had to write this down because I'm old, and I probably would forget off the top of my head. So, number one, I have been married twice. The first time in 1980, which lasted four years, and again I got married in 1990, which lasted one year. And, of course, y'all know I'm engaged to Ron. We don't have a wedding date because of my insurance right now. So we're praying he gets a job that maybe has insurance. So I don't have to worry about it. Number two. I went to college here uh, locally in Fort Myers. And I took psychology. Not for a degree or anything. I just, a friend of mine and I were bored. And we said, hey, let's go to college. And... So we both decided we'd take psychology classes, which I loved. And I also went to the same college and uh, the vocational school here in town um, right out of graduating high school in 1976. And I'm certified in the state of Florida for a nursing assistant. I started my LPN, but decided that I wanted, didn't want to stay in that field. I was actually told I was not going to last in that field because I got too emotionally involved with my patients. Number three, I was a computer graphic artist for nine years. That is my love. I worked for two different newspapers and I did computer graphics and built the newspapers and built the ads on the computer and stuff like that. Number four, I do not like vanilla anything. No vanilla ice cream, no vanilla scented candles, no vanilla scented bath gels. Now some shower gels and bath gels are mixed with another scent and you can't really smell the vanilla. So I do use that if I have it, but I do not like vanilla. Number five, Miss Belinda Ball. I, like you, am a huge Sean Connery fan. I love Sean Connery. I think he is the sexiest man on earth. And I don't know why he was never put on People Magazine or anything as the sexiest man. Even now. Which we don't see a lot of him because I know he's kind of up there in years. But I love Sean Connery. Number six. I owned a 1939 Chevrolet sedan. It was actually my wedding gift from my first husband when we got married and left the church. He handed me the deed for the car, which was out in the parking lot, and we drove it on our honeymoon. I'm going to have to find a picture of the car so I can show you guys sometime. It was a really cool car. But it had a souped-up engine, and it was very expensive, and only got nine miles to the gallon, and that was in 1980. So when I divorced, I said, I'll give you the car back if you'll buy me a new car. So that's what we did. Number seven. My grandparents raised my two brothers, Philip and Jamie and I, until I was the age of seven. And we had the coolest dachshund named Colonel Clink. My grandmother's favorite show was Hogan's Heroes. So when we got the dog, she named him after Colonel Clink on the Hogan's Heroes. Number eight. 
my dad's parents, my grandparents on my dad's side, were born in England. I never met my real grandfather. He passed away before we were born, and my grandmother remarried. And his name, we called him Pop Pop. And he was actually the captain on a huge ship called the uh, Alexander Hamilton that ran the Hudson River in New York. And also, my grandmother on my mom's side was part Cherokee Indian. So I have some English, and I have a little bit of Cherokee Indian in me, and I'm not sure what else. Number nine. Rob Reno, one of my favorite all-time foods, maybe my favorite all-time dinner or afternoon snack on a weekend, is fried Spam with cheese melted on the top. And I love to dip it in spicy brown mustard. And number 10, I am an amateur photographer and I love doing photography. Now, my list stops at 10 because I forgot it was 15. So, let me just see off the top of my head if I can think of anything um, hmm, that I didn't put on my question and answer video, which really wasn't that long, so I probably could come up with things. Well, my favorite color is orange. My second favorite color is teal. That's 11. 12. I was, oh, I'm a Navy brat. My dad was stationed in Key West, Florida in the Navy, and I was born at the Naval Base Hospital there and was actually the biggest baby ever born in the hospital up to that point. I weighed 9 pounds, 10 ounces, and I kept on growing. <sighs> was that 12? Number 13. Wow. This is tough. Having to come up with them on the top of your head. Um, I make jewelry. Ha! Like nobody knew that. Uh, I do jewelry. I do scrapbooking. I make my own homemade greeting cards. I love to do ceramics. And I love to paint. I used to draw, but I haven't done that in a very, very long time. Uh, number 14. My favorite singer of all time is Celine Dion. I love Celine Dion. And number 15. Let's see. I think I will tell you guys that. If I could re be reborn as anyone, actor, actress, famous person, whatever, um, I think I would like to be born Halle Berry. I think she is one of the most beautiful women ever, Halle Berry. And if you saw her in Catwoman, in that black leather suit, you know what I'm talking about. That is my 15 things that you probably don't know about me. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. God bless you guys.